Hey everyone, welcome back to ProData Analytics. Today I'm going to show you a super useful technique how to create a target chart using Stack Bar Chart in Power BI. It's simple, powerful, and really helps you show how actuals are performing against targets. First, why do we need a target chart? Well, businesses often want to track actual sales versus target sales or actual revenue versus goal revenue. A target chart visually shows if you are hitting, missing, or exceeding our goals at glance. So as you can see here, I have created a target chart using Stack Bar Chart. So let's create this. So I will take a Stack Bar Chart. So let's add y axis and x axis values. So I want to see it total sales by the top 10 locations. So let's add locations. So I have order location column and the total sales. Okay, so now I want to I, have, I want to see a top 10 locations. So let's filter this out. Locations, basic filtering, top 10. So it will be top 10 by value that is total sales. So what are the top 10 performing locations are? Let's go to bars categories will be all so layout space between categories let's keep it 75 okay that's good bars in the other bars i have taken total sales let's enable this so in the upper bound we need to add a previous month sales so that is as a target so let me show you the sales previous months so here you can see sales previous months dex so i'm using the date add function uh, minus one month so ships it will ship the context by one month and date date with sales is equal to true so i'm taking only the sales which have on the particular dates okay so it says previous months and this is a size lower bound previous So as you can see, we are getting here the targets. So let's increase the size of the marker. Let's keep it 5. And marker size will be 10. And the, let's take color will be blue. Okay, that's good. Hmm. Okay, and the FX. So we have three options with the gradient, rules, and fill value. So fill value, we can go with the DAX function. So I've created a DAX function. Let me show you that. A bar color. So as you can see a bar color, top 10 locations and all select function I use because we need to take the filter in the context. So as you can see, with if the current sales are max, it will show green. If the current sales are minimum, it will show red. Otherwise, okay. So let's apply that. Fill value, bar color. So as you can see, top 10 locations with highlighting a top, a top performing location and lower performing locations. And let's here I have taken a slicer. So let's change that. As you can see, it is working fine. Okay, so this is the target chart we are comparing with the previous month sales. So you can use as any target if you have any targets to the uh, for your sales. So you can add that sales by your target as a target value. For in this case, I have used the previous month sales for comparing. Okay, thank you so much for the watching.